This funny looking rig right here is a garlic scape. Uh, you may see these in your grocery store or at the farmer's market and just wonder what they are and what you would do with them. They are the flower blossom of a garlic, like a bulb garlic. And they shoot this up sometime around here in July. And then the farmers cut these off because they don't want the garlic bulb to create a flower. They want to stop that process from happening and for the plant to concentrate on the bulb. Basically the whole thing tastes like garlic. Uh, you can use the flower bud, but usually we don't. We just cut that off. The rest of this can be used as a substitute for garlic when garlic's out of season and you want to use local garlic. There's a bunch of different things you can do with this. One is you can just eat it. Uh, you can grind it up in your food processor and make sort of a paste out of it. You can freeze that paste into little cubes and then when you go to make a soup, uh, you can just throw one of those frozen pucks in. You can also pickle it into garlic scape capers. And these you would use as a substitution for capers. So you could use them in salads or sauces or throw them on as a garnish and they give you a little sweet vinegary pop of garlic. Uh, but it's not too strong. It's milder than bulb garlic. I'm just going to cut off this end because it's a little tougher. Uh, at the restaurant, we do bags and bags of these. And when we have downtime, we will sit around and someone will sit around and just chop these up. They're a little awkward because they are, let me turn here so you can see. They're a little awkward because they're twisty. But you should be able to just like go right through them. Uh, people also who are not confident with their knife skills can use scissors. Uh, the most challenging part is to just have them not roll all off onto the floor. And you want them nice and small because they're, you know, they're a little all garnished. So you want them about the size of a caper, which is about the size of a blueberry. My pickle brine is boiling and I'm just going to pour it over the garlic scapes. Then I'm done. These quick pickle recipes are super simple and super fast and give very consistent delicious results this will go in the fridge and i can keep it in the fridge for weeks and weeks and it'll be totally safe and i could also put this in a hot water bath and preserve it and leave it out on a shelf for a year even longer so that is why you might be interested in picking these up they're usually pretty cheap it's sort of a secondary crop for the farmers uh, and they're looking to make a buck off of it instead of throwing it in the compost. And it's very versatile. It's very nice, mild garlic flavor. You can use it on a lot of different things. Highly recommend picking it up and giving it a try. If you like this recipe and are interested in more recipes like this, please hit the subscribe button because there's more recipes like this coming.